Hey, this is uh, Burt Bug Brent here, and today we are going to look at my recent pickups. And all these pickups were in the last week, you know, nothing nothing too old. So first I'll start with, uh, this was Sunday morning. I actually went to a few places, most of these are Sunday. So the Sunday morning I went to a, a flea market, and this is what I got. So first, first I got Twisted Metal 2, Greatest Hits. You know, I, I know this is the same guy who did uh, God of War, I believe. Before he did God of War. I know he did the first one. I don't know if he did the second one. But, yeah. So, Twisted Metal 2. Unfortunately, it's the greatest hits. All these are the greatest hits. But, they were pretty cheap. They were all, like, three bucks each. But, he gave it to me, like, all these. I got eight games here. And, something else. And, he gave it to me for 22. So, you know, not bad. And, yeah, here's the other thing. Here's, uh, I, I mentioned this in my other video, I think. Uh, my Rumble Pack. My N64 Rumble Pack. I got this. Yeah, this was like two bucks. He charged me for that. So here's a uh, CTR. Um, here's Crash Team Racing. Like I said, greatest hits. You can tell. But uh, yeah, you know, and all these are like most of them have like all the original inserts. So if you see, yeah, original, original inserts on both of these games. And the ga the discs are actually. You probably can't tell because it's black and my camera sucks. But these are like decent condition. They're not mint, but the cases are. So, and they look mint from the front. So, they're in pretty good condition, shape. And then here's one of the uh two not greatest hits or that are black label. Here is uh you can barely read it because it has that weird 3D cover, Crash Bandicoot Warped. You know, it's in it's in pretty decent condition. It doesn't have the manual. It has the uh cover insert. But the disc's actually like in pristine condition, like no scratches whatsoever. So, you know, I'm just like, yeah, cool, you know. It's black and black strip right there and it's great condition, so it's a win-win. And here's the only one that did not come with the uh, cover insert was Tom Clancy uh, Rainbow Six. You know, I, I've heard of definitely Rainbow Six Vegas. I don't know how this game is going to be, but, you know, this the disc is also in really good shape. So hopefully this will be a good game. And then we have Resident Evil Director's Cut. Uh, I obviously have heard of Resident Evil. I don't know the difference between the Director's Cut and the regular. But, you know, it looks pretty good. Complete. Discs in pristine condition. This this is like one of the few that are like in mint, mint condition. Actually, I think Twisted Metal might be too. I'm not sure though. Next, we have uh, Spyro the Dragon. This one, you know, it just has the... This one is also complete. Discs in great shape. Yeah, I think the only one that wasn't in good shape was uh, Crash Team Racing. But this one, yeah, great shape. The disc, you know. But like I said, still greatest hits. Now here's one I was particularly excited about. I'm not a big RPG person when I saw this. I'm just like, hmm, that's pretty cool. Uh, Chrono Cross. You know, even though it's the greatest hits, yeah, here's Chrono Cross. Both discs are in great condition. Or, you know, okay condition. They're not, these ones aren't as good as some of the other ones, but they're both in good condition. Comes with the manual and both discs. Right here. So, pretty good. And this one, I've been really wanting this game for a while, so I was happy. Uh, Metal Gear. The original Metal Gear Solid. So, you know, both discs in this one, you know, pretty good condition. A few light scratches. But, yeah, it comes with the manual. This one, actually, there, he had two of these. But one of them did not have the disc, so he only had like two, he had two cases, and one of the, the case without the disc was in better condition. So I just kind of switched the cases where the CDs were in. You know, pretty good condition. So yeah, and I got all these PlayStation One games for twenty in the Rumble Pack for twenty-two dollars. So I was I was pretty happy about that because I only have like two PlayStation games. Besides, like um like last month I went to the uh flea market and I bought that uh my PlayStation with the box. So I haven't really had anything. So anyways and then later that day I ended up going to see Avatar, which is a great movie. But and then afterwards on our way home we stopped at two pawn shops, which there was nothing. It was it was pretty weak. But then we went on the way home so we knew about those pawn shops. But on the way home we actually went by Goodwill that we did not know existed. So we went by that Goodwill and found a few things. They had a lot of sports games. It's like the most sports games I've ever seen at a Goodwill. Actually, most retro games I've ever seen at a Goodwill out here. 
and I found a few things I was interested in. Um, first, I'll, yeah, this one I wasn't too excited about, but I got it. Here's a NBA Showdown Super Nintendo. The box is in amazing condition. It's the best Super Nintendo box I've ever seen. Yeah, I love collecting box games. So, yeah, and then this came. It came didn't come with any of the uh, original inserts, but the the actual well, you know, the the pamphlets or anything. But the actual box itself is in good condition. And I don't know if you can see, but it came with the cover too, like the game cover for the Super Nintendo. So all in all, yeah, you know. There, this was actually kind of pricey too. All the games in this bag were five bucks each, so I only bought all the box games because I love box games. And here is—I've never heard of this game for the Sega Genesis, but uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Ch Chalkin or Chaken? I, I don't know. But you know, it looked—it looked kind of—it looked pretty cool. You know, this kind of like a ninja zombie guy. But what, what made me excited was the inside. Well, first the. Uh, the game itself is actually in really good condition, but it came with two posters and a few little inserts. It didn't come with the manual, surprisingly enough, but it came with, uh, you know, like two little postcard deals and posters, which I thought were pretty cool. Well, I'm, I'm probably going to display them, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. So yeah, that was pretty cool for five bucks, in my opinion. That that was worth it. Not so sure about the uh, NBA showdown. But that was definitely, I was pretty happy about that. And last but not least, I was really excited about this one. Uh, Alien vs. Predator on the Game Boy. It's not complete, but the box, just like the uh, the Super Nintendo box, is in amazing condition. There's very little, like, shelf wear on it. Great condition. This one also does not come with any of uh, the original, it doesn't come with the uh, manual for some reason. Which I was all very surprised about, but it did come with uh, a few little pamphlets. It came with the original Game Boy um, booklet, it came with a Nintendo Power subscription thing, and some Game Boy registration card. It actually came with the uh, Game Boy case too, and you know, some plastic case. But uh, try it's the first box Game Boy original Game Boy game I've seen. And uh, I have a few Game Boy Color games box, but not a Game Boy. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's actually on my, what, second original Game Boy game? Maybe th third. Yeah, third. Because I have Kirby, too. Yeah, so, all in the, like I said, all together, those cost me $15, which I think, you know, is a little little pricey for these kind of games. But, you know, last but not least, this one I got yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, which was Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. And we were, uh... Just driving around, and we saw another Goodwill. It was in a part of town we're not usually in. So we stopped in. And I found a few things. One thing I was pretty excited about. First, I found this uh, Dreamcast controller, which on its own, you know, it's, it's an okay controller. It has markings on it. Besides that, it's a pretty cool Dreamcast controller. And I only have one Dreamcast controller, so that was good. But it came with two VMUs, which uh, I was very happy about because I do not have any VMUs. So I can finally, here, I, I'm not going to bother getting that other one out. But, yeah, so I, I was pretty happy about those VMUs. And, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave that VMU in there. And then I was looking at the CD section, which is obviously where they keep all their CD games. And I found uh, two PlayStation games. I found Rugrats Search for Reptile. I don't know, but it, they, they were charging three bucks. It was complete. The disc is in okay shape. Look, definitely looks playable. But, yeah, you know. I was just happy I found that. Because I'm always looking for new PlayStation games because I have, like, none. And last one, Star Wars Rebel Assault 2 for the PlayStation. And, you know, it's, it's just not a uh, off. I've not tried it, but I trust Star Wars games universally. They're, they're, you know, I, that's the one movie franchise I actually trust. But this case, you know, not in the best shape. A lot of cracks and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, the discs are in relatively good condition. Both discs are there. The manual's not, but both discs are there. I'm not going to open the manual, though, because, trust me, I, I can never get it closed. And, look, that's kind of, yeah, yeah, you can see that. It's kind of not even closed. But, yeah, all in all, pretty, uh pretty good haul I guess I could say and so I got these for $10 those these three yeah those three those are the manuals off the side 
for 15 and all those for 20. Obviously, you know which one the best deal was, was, you know, those. Those, uh, tw all those for like 22, including the Rumble Pack. But, you know, all in all, it did pretty well. Spent, what, 45 bucks. I'm just going to throw that out there. But, yeah, did pretty good. Finally got a VMU. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? But, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, you know, please, uh, watch, rate, subscribe, comment, you know, all that stuff. So, this is Burpo Brent signing off.